Hello and welcome to a uh, Takara Tomy uh, History of PlayStation Series 1. Uh, I think this is 1, yes, PlayStation 1. The first one of PlayStation 1 is PlayStation 1 set 1. Previously, I also revealed the uh, the Famicom set, also by Takara Tomy, and also the PlayStation History Collection of PS2, 20 fans of her first week, PS2 and PS3. And I will be comparing those sets since I've kept them all. So yeah, in this set, um, I got this the same place I got the Famicom stuff, I just put some coins in the uh, capsule machine, got four of them, and um, five, no, I put 100 Hong Kong dollars in, so it's 20 dollars each, and what is that noise out? Anyway, and I managed to get uh, the rare one, so I was pretty fair, I was pretty lucky, so I just went back the next day, got another 100 dollars in, and I managed to get the full set, and also uh, two spare secret ones, one spare rare one, and one spare normal one, so that's a pretty good thing going on. So anyway, uh, the first one here is just the first ever release of the PlayStation with a memory card, a uh, the first PlayStation controller, and uh, the model of the PS is also in its first form. Uh, most not be you see on the back of this thing, so they've kept those details. Uh, this is the SCPH-1000, and then next one is SCPH-7000, comes with a transparent DualShock uh, 1 controller, uh, transparent blue memory card, and uh, is that Pepper the Rapper, I think? Uh, next we have um, uh, the SCPH-9000, comes with an IQ game, a uh, Sort of screen game pad, uh, game memory card that you can the what's the the travel play memory card, whatever it's called. Uh, pretty much they copy the Dreamcast memory card. I put a screen on it. So some games would use it, and you can play many games. Like so it comes with a uh, tra slightly transparent version of this, and a uh, normal DualShock. This one comes with a white DualShock, uh, slightly different shape, and it's the uh, SCPH100. Uh, the sort of uh, PlayStation 1 Slim, some will call it. Comes with another one of these uh, game pads and a little screen, and this game, I'm not, I don't know what it is. So. The two secret ones are the two, def uh, there's the debugger uh, navy blue one, and these, um, the, uh, what they call it, the net uh, special item that, that lets you, uh, helps you make PlayStation games. Oh, damn, what do you call it? It's uh, the developers-ish uh, console. And so every single one of these come with a, a game disc, somewhat. So let's compare that first. Uh, this is from this piece here is from the PS2 slash PS3 collection. It is pre-cut already. There's nothing in the center. The plastic is, um, it's, I mean, it's soft, but it's still fairly thick. And it's transparent. This one's for the PS1. Of course, PS1 discs are black, so that makes sense. However, the plastic here is a lot thinner. This actually feels like just plastic film. Uh, they didn't even they they have punched the hole there, but you gotta like, there's an outline there for you to punch a hole through it. See there, but it's not been punched for you. So the new one is a lot thicker. Also, the size is slightly different. Mm. Not thicker, so it's, in that sense, the new ones are better. In terms of stickers, uh, is again. Let's see, what, uh, Tokyo Jungle 6 PS3 disc, plus this PS1 thing here. Again, the size is almost this, pretty much the same, uh, but uh, just one, this one has, still has a black, out, block, bleh, black box outline on this, and the new one doesn't, so it's sort of like, um, they just cut this more for you, but uh, that's fine. The print quality is um, pretty samey, I think. Uh, no. No biggie. And in terms of the actual box art stickers, again the new one for the PS2, PS3, or PS4 uh, boxes, they've been cut right down to the edge. Whereas this one, uh, there's a grey outline, which again doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, it, but this one's probably easier to peel than uh, the new ones. Again, print quality is pretty cons consistent. I like them. I like the print quality in these. For something so tiny. Uh, the uh, the PS2 and 3 collection also has um, some stickers for the fat PS2 where the memory card slot is. Please focus. Uh, there's another sticker, silver sticker here, and a black sticker here. Just all these logos printed on it. Uh, they're not cut out or anything, they're just, you know, there for you to stick on things to just look nice, I guess. 
Uh, as for the Famicom one, the only sticker that came with are the two sort of golden stickers that are meant to go on those little Famicom uh, game pads, which again I haven't used. I, I don't normally use stickers on these, I just like to keep them as they are because I think they look good enough. As for the uh, cases here, uh, the, the slim PS1 comes with a, a slightly thinner case that's transparent plastic, and this and all the other ones come with this thicker black one that we all know, that the thicker black PS1 uh, game box. Plastic seems solid enough. There's actually a slight rim going around the edges uh, to simulate the actual box and you know sort of help you line up the uh, stickers on the transparent one as well. On the new one, uh, all of them do follow the colors. You know, you've got the PS2 box, again this one has the rim around it. The uh, PS3 box also has the rim around it. And the PS4 box, the Blu-ray box, also has a little line around it. So, uh, the, again, the quality is consistent with all of these um, boxes. And the reason I haven't used any stickers are is, um, at some point I'm still thinking, well, maybe I just want to, uh, you know, make my own sticker designs for the games that I actually like and not the ones that they've given me. Like, like I, I, I know these are meant to be like PS1 classics, but I, I've never played this. What the hell is this anyway? Um, what game is this? Not all I don't. Um, I, I can't read what that game is. <laughs> but, uh, oops, for, uh, I mean, I know what Pepper the Rapper is, I haven't played it, and I've heard of that IQ thing, I haven't played it, and the other one I haven't played it either. So, yeah. So, let me get these discs out of the way, just put them there on this box. Um, so, the first one comes with this, so I'll put that there, and we'll see if um, this thing can actually. Uh, Put what I can fit on these discs. Now the PS1 ones I feel slightly bigger, so they, if anything, these should fit in there. Oh, but these are slightly thicker, so who knows? Uh, does this plug in? No. Okay, well it fits. You know, it's just there. I'll be trying this disc on all of them. So there we go. Here is the first PS1 in Japan. Uh, the sticker PS logo is okay, uh, center enough, and the other buttons I have printed details and not um, stickers. Air fence on the side, the front there, the slots. Uh, there's no screws on this, it's all glued down. Here's the bottom, some printed details there. You can see on the back, that's the power supply socket, uh, the, the three colors you use to plug to the TV and such. And like all the other ones, it comes with a little power cord, or well, the end of it anyway, so you just stick that in. So, there you go, fits in there, very tight and snug. Uh, here's a PS1 memory card, it's printed, it's molded just like it should be, that's very amazing, tiny, tiny, tiny detail, which uh, I don't know if you can be able to focus and zoom in on this, but let's try. Oh, come on, slowly. Slowly, let's see how far I can focus. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. That's as far as we'll go. Amazing. Uh, so I'm going to get this. I'm going to, well, plug it in. So I'll plug it in slot 2. Okay. So we also have the first ever PS1 controller. You see all the buttons are printed. The square is a bit off center, but I'm going to forgive it because start and select are also printed there. Like, oh, I'm gonna play this game. Like, do, 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 do. L and R buttons. Yeah, this uh, all the screw, <laughs> all the actual screw holes simulated from the official thing. The details here are so good. Uh, the cord length is a bit. I think it's a bit shorter than what it would be in real life, but it's still pretty long length for a toy. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna get the fat PS2. Right, oh, and that piece just fell out. Uh oh. Okay, so uh, obviously the PS2 can play PS1 games, and if I remember correctly, it's supposed to have the memory cards as well. So I'm gonna plug that memory card. I'm gonna plug the PS1 memory card in. Would it fit? Yes, yes, it does. Hmm, that's good. Will the PS1 controller fit in the PS2? Yes, it does. So it's all compatible as it should be. That's awesome. <laughs> It's cool. It's, it's really cool. So I'm gonna get this memory card and slide it back in there in case I lose it or something. 
Okay. The only downside of this is uh, it does get a bit finicky if you're trying to slot the uh, controller and memory card into the same slot just because it's so small. It's not really the fault of the toy. Um, it's just it's just small, small. Uh, the cable here is. I think the cable here is soft enough. Um, the Famicom ones are really tight uh, and they really don't want to straighten out and therefore makes them very. It's really hard to get them straight. It's very tangly. Uh, not as soft as these, these ones. Uh, the PS2 controllers. Uh, it's pretty much the same length as uh, the PS1 one and they are. Uh, I think just as soft. And the PS3 controllers comes with tiny USB cables. They are also um, long enough and pretty uh, soft. Because uh, the uh, PS3 controllers, you can unplug that. So, okay. Next, uh, we'll move on to Papa the Rapper thingy. So, I've got another case there. Uh, quick look at the. Uh, let's try and zoom in. See how far we can go. Okay, look at that. That's a really good print. Uh, looking at all the details through the uh, lens of the camera. It's good. And there's the disc. Really, really good prints. Uh, yeah. And the actual machine. Just same as the other one, it has a power cord stuck in there already. Please focus. If I open this up, open this up. See, it's the same. I mean, the overall body is the same. You see the back there, the connector ports look different as they should. Again. Uh, the controller there is pretty nice. And here's the controller, it has a slightly different colored cable as it should do. And yeah, the uh, print is uh, pretty good. The knobs there are nice as well. It's all good. Down. <gasps> no, they're missing a sticker and information to help that day. No. <laughs> because the bottom of the PS1 is slightly different to uh, <coughs> be accurate. That's good. Okay, next, the third one uh, comes with that IQ game. Oh, dropped it. Okay. And there's the disc. So, it's um, again pretty decent print. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I said, this one, I'm going to put that memory card out first. Let's look at the controller first this time. It, no, DualShock 1 again. That's good. Uh, open this up. Same innards, really. Stickers stuck on nicely. The back is almost this, pretty much the same. It's the bottom that's different. So for most people, this they won't be like, oh, it's the same bloody thing. But no, the bottom area is different. So some people will be like, oh my god, the details. As for the little game controller gimmicky thing here, we got the uh, memory card there and transparent, got a silver screen and silver whitish buttons printed on. This thing flips up and you got um not sort of controllers sort of there. Uh, no, I've never actually seen one of these in real life or used one, so but I think it looks good here. So I'm gonna flip that up. Come on, get in. This one's a bit more tight than the other ones, but it will fit, because... It's just hard to do when I need to stretch my arms for the camera. Oh, it's going in. Nope. There we go. There we go. Goes in. So. Phew! Uh, next we have uh, the Slim PS1. I'm going to test the disc in there, of course. Uh, it comes with this sticker of the game. Uh, I recognize this cat thing, but I don't know what it is. And here's the disc. Uh, it's got metallic printing on it should, so it's cool. So here it is, the little PS1 Slim. comes with a white version of this little controller. It's right there, and, you know... A different connector controller because all the other controllers can fit in there as well. So I'll just unplug, for example, the transparent blue one and stick it in here, and you know, there you go. And you know, the uh, control, uh, the gamepad, the memory cards as well, and all that. So that's funsies. 
Uh, there's the Jupiter controller, different colored cable to match, and different colored controller of course to match the new system. It's very cute. Uh, it has that middle button there, which is nice. Okay, there's the back of it with all the screw holes, and if you open the. Uh... It's a bit hard to open when that game memory card's in the way. So, open it up. That's as far as it'll go. I think that's accurate. I have played one of these systems in the past, as well as the, one of the fat ones. So, stick that in there and. Will it close? Come on, card. Oh, crap. Oops, snap the memory card. Let's put that back on. Okay. I think this disc won't fit in there. It's a bit too thick. Yeah, it won't, won't fit. So This one doesn't fit. So this one's not compatible. Then again, you shouldn't be putting a uh, PS3 slash PS4 disc in here. It won't work anyway. So, uh, so I'm going to put this controller here. This game memory card there. Stick that in. Do notice that those connect, but nice details put in there. You got um, these connector ports on the back and the bottom of the machine. Now, this doesn't come with a power cord or anything because it comes with uh, this little screen magic thing. You also have to connect this on the back. And what this does is you just plug it in there and pretend that someone's got a little tiny screen to play PlayStation. And this does fold just like the official thing. The only one downside of this is that it's very loose on the back. This one falls off really easily, so um, you gotta you have to constantly uh, stick it in. But I mean, you're not gonna be moving this too much anyway, so it's fine. It, if you just let it sit there, it'll be fine for the most part. I think it's getting looser though. Oh, cool. I can't actually stick this back in without falling apart. Come on, stay in. Thank you. Uh, there we go, it's sitting there. So that's that. That's, that's nice. And we go to one of the first secret one, which is the navy blue one. The debugging uh, PS1. Oh. So, yeah, it's just like the PS1, but just in you know, navy blue. Uh, I've opened the flap up. Open, come on, there we go. You see the print inside is the same. Plugs the same, uh, the memory card is silver, and the controller is well, also sort of dark, sort of blackish color, dark gray. And here's the bottom of the console, and the back. And finally, we have the black one, which comes with a sticker for the black disc. Feel focus, come on. There we go. Put it upside down. Okay, and there's the black machine. And black memory card, black controller, and some bit of green there. Hmm. The power open buttons are very easy to see. Comes with a normal controller. Getting all nicely printed and such. Phew! So that's the uh, PS1 collection. It is fantastic. Just like the Famicom set, the quality here is really high. The stickers are printed nicely. Uh, and um, apart from the, my only big concern is that screen on this version it just does it's not tight enough so maybe get a bit of blue tackle something to support it or maybe you'll be luckier than me and have one that's tighter this one is far better than the PS2 and PS3 collection the PS2 and PS, PS3 collection is uh, well, it costs more to start off with, but the quality there isn't as good. Uh, PS3 and PS2 ones are bigger, you get, you seem to have more stuff in each pack, but um, the quality there is just very rough. Uh, if you remember the review for that one, there's a lot more scratch marks because uh, the plastic is meant to be shiny. Uh, the PS1 is not meant to be shiny, so the scratch marks, the light you know, hair marks are unnoticeable. So that might not be because that the PS1 set is better, it just means you can't really notice the hair marks. And the hair marks are all over the PS3s uh, from that set. Also, uh, the plastic seems to be connecting a lot better. The uh, One of the eye remotes from the PS1 
2 and PS3 set. Uh, it looks like they didn't push together too well, there's a bit of glue sticking out and it just looks, looks like a broken controller. It looks kind of ugly. So yeah, if you can find these, these are still quite pricey and will probably get more pricey on eBay. I was lucky to find these in the Gashapon machine, as, you know, let alone a complete set in the machine. Uh, I got each of these for 20 Hong Kong dollars each. If you go online, they cost about 10 pounds each, which roughly translates to 130 dollars each. That's with all without shipping, depending on the seller. So yeah, the price margin is huge, but uh, I haven't really seen any other places that you can get these online. You can get them on the Yahoo auction site, but then you have to go for a middleman service if you're in other countries, so you got to mess around with that as well. So really, eBay is your luckiest choice. I will be sticking some of these on eBay. I have the four spare ones, like I said. Um, I'll stick those on eBay. I, you know, I do like money, so I can buy more toys, but I, I, would, I won't charge the same price as other people. I, I'll. I go in the middle between what other people are charging and how much I paid for them. I think that's that'd be fair. Uh, I'll also be selling off uh, some of these from the set. Maybe uh, as much as I like having a complete set, I don't need some of these because uh, I'm not that attached to the PlayStation. While I, I do think these are really nice sets, I'm not too attached. So uh, as long as I have uh, one uh, one of these PS1 consoles, I'll keep the secret ones because those those are cool. The, the blue and black one. And I'll probably I'll keep I'll probably sell off two of these uh, fat ones, and so I have I still have a complete set of uh, DualShock One controllers to plug into these, so I can take photos of them with the figures, and um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'll do with them. Uh, so yeah, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day.